Hi everybody, Mrs. C. Hanowitz here. Um, I'm gonna teach a spelling lesson for you today. But first, we have to review and see what we can remember about nouns, okay? Um, class, anyone here know any, what, do you remember what is a noun, anybody? Oh, wait, we have, we have a, a student that knows. Oh, hello, sir. What is a noun? Oh, that's correct. Okay. So we know a noun is a person, place, or thing. All right, class, I have another question. Does anybody know what a plural noun is? Do you remember what a plural noun is? Hmm, let me... Oh, 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 there's one. Sir, How? what about you? What's a plural noun? More than one person, place, or thing. More than one person, place, or thing. <gasps> correct. Okay, so I am going to read you... Um, a book today. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what we're going to learn about today. We're going to be doing lesson 31 in spelling, which is called dun, 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 Irregular Plural Nouns. Okay, so I'm going to read a story to you off of Epic, and it is about what an irregular plural noun is, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it once the book is over. Okay, here we go. This is just from Epic. It's called Feet and Puppies, Thieves and Guppies. What are irregular plurals? And you guys know that you have to turn. It says cats and hats and acrobats, hamsters, squares, and squirrels. These words are known as plurals. Plural means there's two or more of something like these dresses. Shoes and shades and lemonades, see how they end in S's? Adding S or ES to most nouns will make them plural, but you won't find two foots on any yardstick. You see, foot is irregular. The plural form is feet. You would say two feet, not two foots. And there are bunches more you'll know before this book's complete. Many words that end in Y will end in I-E-S. When naming more than one as in, my buddies made a mess. The singular is buddy and the plural form is buddies. This rule applies to lots of words like candies, babies, studies, guppies, puppies, parties, pennies, jellies, bellies, berries. So. We know that if a word ends in Y, we drop the Y and we add an I-E-S. If an F-E ends your word, then swap F for V. In plural forms, take wives and knives and lives to name just three. So we say knife, but when we have more than one, we say knives. You drop, you change that F to a V. Often when F ends the word, the plural makes this change. The F turns into V-E-S, as in these leaves are strange. You see half-halves, wolf-wolves, thief-thieves, self-selves. Some words when they end in O need E-S when they're plural, as in I see potatoes and tomatoes on that mural. You wouldn't think because usually when we add ES, it says as, but we don't say potato as or tomato as, so that's what makes it irregular. Sometimes plurals change the vowels, like tooth becoming teeth, like man to men, or mouse to mice, or goose to becoming geese. And that's, this page is what most of our words um, are for this week. 
Others seem they have no rules when the language folks devise them. Like child becoming children, we just have to memorize them. Cap so certain nouns when plural always stay the same throughout. Like deer and moose and bison, sheep and salmon, swine and trout. I wrote this book so kids could keep it handy on their shelves and look up lots of tricky plural words all by themselves. So what is an irregular plural? Do you know? And I don't know if you guys knew this, but um, when you are using Epic, if you push on a word and you click on it, it will give you the definition of that word. Okay, that's pretty cool thing. All right, so to review, what is an irregular plural? So most nouns, I'm looking at this side here, most nouns we add S or ES to make plural like dogs and, and friends. And last week we added ES like boxes. Irregular plurals, the spelling changes, like child goes to children, tooth becomes teeth, foot becomes feet. We don't add S or ES, and that is what makes them different. So, boys and girls, that was fun. I know I look beautiful. That was a joke. Um, I'll be teaching you at least two lessons a week. I hope you had fun. Now go and do Vocabulary City and go do your spelling worksheet. One spelling worksheet a day, one um, activity from Spelling City. See you later.